Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. It's finally time for bowl season, which is one of the most exciting times of the year. Seniors have a chance to end their careers on a high note. Fans have a chance to see their teams play for the last time until next year. Rivalries will be renewed, and some teams will be meeting for the first time in their bowl game. All very exciting factors that go into play and what make bowl games so much fun to watch, even the lower tier bowls. And as I told you, we're going to predict every single bowl game, starting with the ones that start tomorrow and all the way up to the national championship game. Now, some things to keep in mind are bowl games are very hard to predict because of a lot of factors. First one, of course, is location. You know, where's the bowl being played? Will the fans travel for that game? You know, teams that play in the Hawaii Bowl and the Bahamas Bowl probably aren't going to have a lot of fans there. But if they're near their campus or somewhere, you know, a bordering state, maybe they'll have a good turnout. Another thing to keep in mind are players sitting out. It's become a common factor uh, these past couple of years. Players that are predicted to be uh, a high pick in the NFL draft decide to sit out in fear of injury, and that could easily affect a team. We had that happen last year with Leonard Fournette and Christian McCaffrey both sitting out of their bowl games. And then one other thing we have to keep in mind are coaching changes. Coaches have been fired. Uh, coaches have been hired to other schools and leaving. You know, multiple examples of those uh, over the course of these past few weeks. And how does that affect a team uh, going into their bowl game? You know, how will that affect them? How, how well will they play if they lose their head coach? So that's something to keep in mind. But we're going to do our best job to predict all of these bowl games for you. And we're starting with the five games that start tomorrow to kick off bowl season. And we're going to do these uh, picks in the preview format like we did over the course of the season. Every time we had a week-by-week -week preview, we listed the top couple games. And we're going to do that for each bowl game. We're just going to list all the bowl games that are on a certain day. So the bowl games for December 16th that will kick off the season are the New Orleans Bowl between Troy and North Texas, Western Kentucky and Georgia State in the Cure Bowl, Number 25, Boise State versus Oregon in the Las Vegas Bowl. Marshall versus Colorado State in the New Mexico Bowl. And Middle Tennessee versus Arkansas State in the Camellia Bowl. So all very good matchups. And one thing I would uh, like to say right off the bat is a lot of these games are going to have very exciting quarterback battles. So you could see a lot of high scoring in these games that kick off uh, tomorrow. So make sure you keep your eye out for that because I know a lot of people look at these games, they look at the teams, they kind of blow it off because your team's not playing it or these teams are just... You know, they're a group of five teams that don't matter. Uh, but some of these games can get really exciting. And if you're doing ESPN's Bowl pick you definitely want to care about these games. So we'll start off with the first one, the New Orleans Bowl between Troy and North Texas. Now, right off the bat, I want to say I like Troy in this one. Uh, they've got a very experienced quarterback in Brandon Silvers. They're co-Sunbelt uh, Conference champions with... Appalachia State after going on the road and defeating Arkansas State in the final week of the season. Uh, so Troy's been doing a great job. They've won 10 games this year, pulling off one of the biggest upsets of the year when they went on the road and defeated LSU. And also they gave Boise State a pretty good fight in the first week of the season. Uh, so a very, very successful season for the Trojans. Now North Texas, on the other hand, has done a major turnaround. Last year they were 5-7. and seven. They were one of the teams that was 5-7 and seven, but were able to get into a bowl game. They ended up playing Army in that bowl game and lost in a thriller 38-31. This season, they bounced back and got nine wins, played in the Conference USA Championship game, but of course lost to Florida Atlantic and Lane Kiffin's uh, Owls. So, a very exciting matchup here. Could get high scoring in the New Orleans Bowl. Some of these games are always fun to watch, but I'm going to pick Troy in this one. I feel that Brandon Silver is just going to be too much. He's a senior. He wants to send the Trojans out with a win. And I like him against this North Texas defense. Now, second game uh, of the, the bowl season is going to be Western Kentucky and Georgia State in the Cure Bowl. Uh, Western Kentucky, we'll start with them. Mike Stanford taking over as first-year head coach for the Hilltoppers. Now, it's kind of been different for Hilltopper fans this season because two years ago they won 12 games. Last year they won 11 games. And this year they just barely made a bowl game by winning six games. They almost missed out on a bowl game. Uh, so it's kind of been different for fans. Not the kind of season they were hoping for, uh, but still not bad getting to a bowl game, playing in the Cure Bowl, going down to Florida. Uh, and I would be pretty happy as I had a first-year head coach. He also had a very good experience quarterback in Mike White, who's been putting up some astounding numbers. Uh, so great season for the Hilltoppers there. Now Georgia State, on the other hand, doing a great job getting themselves into a bowl game. Sean Elliott took over as first-year head coach as well. Uh, remember, he was the interim head coach at South Carolina and then got hired by Georgia State. He's done a great job turning them around, getting them to a 6-5 and five record. Great quarterback battle here between Mike White of Western Kentucky and Connor Manning of Georgia State. And then two first-year head coaches trying to get themselves a bowl win uh, between Mike Sanford and Sean Elliott. Uh, but right off the bat, though, I'm going to have to say I like Georgia State in this game. I like Georgia State and the Panthers to defeat Western Kentucky here. I think they've got a lot riding on this game. I know Sean Elliott's going to have his team fired up for this one. And uh, Western Kentucky, after not having the season they wanted, especially after having such a hot start, I think they're going to not be as uh, prepared for this game. Georgia State gets the win and what could be a good one. And then this is probably going to be the best game of the day, no doubt. Number 25, Boise State in Oregon. 
in the Las Vegas Bowl. So a lot of emotions going to be going over there after what's happened in Las Vegas uh, a couple months ago. But it's going to be a super fun matchup to watch between the number 25 team in the country and an Oregon team that was improving. They got to a 7-5 and record, but it had a lot of drama lately. Willie Taggart leaving to take the Florida State head coaching job after just one year uh, as head coach for the Ducks. So that was very uh, a very big shock to me, and I'm sure uh, the majority of college football fans. Mario Cristobal has become head coach of Oregon now. He was their offensive coordinator. So now he's taking over as head coach of the Ducks. So that is good that they promoted from within, didn't bring in somebody else. Uh, so that could help the Ducks in this situation. However, Royce Freeman, one of the top rushers in the nation, Oregon's best running back, has decided to sit out, like I said, for the NFL draft. He's opting to sit out of this Las Vegas Bowl in fear of injury. And that could definitely hurt Oregon. I mean, they can still have a very capable quarterback in Justin Herbert, uh, who should be able to put up some big numbers against this Boise State defense. But having Royce Freeman out, having the coaching changes, uh, that couldn't have hurt in the Ducks. Now, Boise State, of course, winning the Mountain West Championship over uh, Fresno State. Very big win for them, as expected, as always. Boise State, very dominant in the Mountain West. They've got a very good quarterback, too, in Brett Rippon, or Ripon. So I'm very excited to watch this game. Could be an offensive shootout here. I like Boise State in this one. A lot of people are picking Oregon. Football Power Index has Oregon going, uh, uh, winning this game. A lot of people are predicting them, I believe, uh, in Las Vegas, where the spread is. They've got Oregon winning this game as well. But I like Boise in this one after everything that's happened off the field for Oregon lately. And without one of their top playmakers, I like the Broncos in what could be the upset. Marshall versus Colorado State in the New Mexico Bowl. Another great quarterback battle between Chase Litton and Nick Stevens of Colorado State. Now, um, one thing I would like to mention is Mike Bobo has done a great job turning this Colorado State program around, took over a struggling Rams team who hasn't won a bowl game since 2013. He's turned them around and just inked a three-year extension through 2022, so you're going to have some consistency there. He's done a great job with the Rams. Marshall, on the other hand, though, 3-9 and nine last year, bounces back, gets to a bowl game, mostly thanks to Chase Litton playing some great ball at quarterback. So this is going to be a really fun one to watch. I'm really curious to see how these quarterbacks play against each other. So it's going to be a really fun one out in New Mexico. In the end, though, I like Nick Stevens and Colorado State to win this game. They were very close to playing for their uh, Mountain West Conference Championship game. They uh, lost a heartbreaker to Boise State there. I believe Boise State scored two touchdowns in the last minute 40. Um, to, and Colorado State ended up losing that game 59-52. to So they were just a couple wins away from getting to a better bowl, potentially winning the Mountain West Championship. But I like them to win their bowl game in the New Mexico Bowl. But watch out for the quarterback battle. I'm very excited to watch that between Litton and and Nick Stevens. And then Middle Tennessee and Arkansas State, once again, a great quarterback battle. We've got Brent Stockstill coming back, son of the uh, head coach from Middle Tennessee, Rick Stockstill. Uh, he's coming back from injury. Uh, and, you know, I had high expectations for Middle Tennessee this season, assuming he had stayed healthy. He did not. He got hurt pretty early on the season. Middle Tennessee struggled a lot without him. He came back, was able to pick up the slack, and got Middle Tennessee to a bowl game. Arkansas State was just seconds away from winning another uh, Sun Belt Conference championship or tying for one with Appalachian State, but lost in the final seconds at home to Troy. But still not a bad bowl game in the Camellia Bowl for both teams. You should expect a, a good turnout for both teams. This game is being played in Alabama, so expect a good uh, source of fans from Arkansas State and Middle Tennessee. It's going to be a fun environment. But uh, So you got Brent Stocks over Middle Tennessee, a good quarterback, and then Justice Hansen for Arkansas State. One of the best quarterbacks in the Sun Belt, if you ask me. Now, the problem with Justice Hansen is he's been very inconsistent. There are some games where he's been great, 300 yards passing, four touchdowns, maybe one or no interceptions. Some games where he puts up a lot of yards with those three or four interceptions. So he's kind of shaky, inconsistent there, but he can move with his feet. He can throw. Uh, he's very talented. So I'm very excited to watch these two teams, especially these two quarterbacks, go at it in what will be the last game of, the, of Saturday night. I like Arkansas State in this game. I think their uh, defense is going to be a little bit better than Middle Tennessee's. Brent Stockstill, of course, coming back from injury, has done a great job turning this uh, team around, getting them to the bowl game. But I like Arkansas State in this one. Uh, they've been to seven straight bowl games. They're looking uh, to win this one. I think they get it over the Blue Raiders. So what should be a very exciting first day of bowl games, we're picking Troy to win the New Orleans Bowl, Georgia State to win the Cure Bowl, Boise State to pull off the upset, in some people's eyes, in the Las Vegas Bowl. Colorado State defeat Marshall in the New Mexico Bowl, and Arkansas State to finish off the day defeating Middle Tennessee in the Camellia Bowl. So it should be a very exciting first day of bowl games. Of course, they will only get better as the uh, as the weeks goes on, as we keep going, inching closer to the playoff, getting better to those mid-major bowls. I'm very excited to watch those. Uh, these games Saturday, though, 
don't uh, make sure you watch them. Make sure you don't just blow it off because you think these are kind of some sucky teams. There's going to be some exciting games. Could have a couple shootouts in there. And like I said, if you're doing ESPN's bowl pick them, you're going to make sure you want to pay attention to this stuff. So overall, great first day of bowl games. Make sure you keep your eye out for these. Keep your eye out for more bowl predictions. We're going to keep going. We're doing every single one, breaking down the teams and their seasons and sharing who we think is going to win these games. These are our five teams that we think are going to win the first day of bowl games, Saturday, December 16th. So make sure you keep your eye out for that. Thank you for watching. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time on The Gridiron Expert.